right guys, so I'm gonna be showing you a quick little flip through of this journal right here. As you can see, it is quite full and some of the pages are gonna be unfinished just because if I add any more, I feel like it's gonna start falling apart and not be able to close and be stored without falling apart, but that's okay. Sometimes you just need to know when to stop and start a new journal. And I do have a tutorial on my channel under the junk journal playlist of how I made this specific journal. Everything from the, how I did the cover, um, picked out the signatures and bound it into the cover. So that's in my junk journal playlist if you're interested. And I'm not gonna go over every single page because I feel like this video would be like two hours long. If I explained everything, I'm kind of just, I might explain a few things and then flip to the next page, but inside the cover here, I just have a project life card um, with when I started this journal and when I ended it or stopped working in it. And then I have my highs and lows of, that, of this year. And I did cover those up because that's personal, but I, I do like to have like a start and end date in the beginning of my journals, usually in a pocket, which right here I sewed in to a piece of scrapbooking paper. This page, just a little um, card from my husband from when he sent me flowers and I cut it out, put it on the flower, a little decal for my name. And some of these pages might be familiar to you if you have been following my channel for a while. I did do some junk journal with me videos out of this journal. So like this page I think um, might have already been seen. So just have a little card here. I have this flip out um, of this Legoland map. So if you turn it over and go this way, there are some pictures of that outing with my family. I can never fold these things back in correctly. Okay, there we go. And I really wanted to do like a jungle summer theme journal when I created this. So there are a lot of like animals, um, animal pages, and I also wanted to make it for kind of our memories of the San Diego Zoo because we are season pass holder. So I just have some tickets from parking when we went to the beach and a lot of paint chips that I used to journal with in this journal because we did paint a lot in our house this year. Some memories from Balboa Park, ticket stubs. I created a little kind of mini journal right here of Balboa, my favorite place in Balboa, the Botanical Gardens. So that right there, I have some ephemera from a old, old payday um, game, game board, I believe. Just more collaging, and this is like kind of my style and how I like to um, journal. So I have some clothing tags. I really liked this tag, so I wanted to keep it, and it was very summery to me. A lot of Dollar Tree stickers in here and decals that you'll see and a beach day. I think this is a card from my sister, it kind of folds out like that. Okay, I do have some dried flowers and leaves that my daughter picked for me right here. I have a journaling card on the back of another paint chip, another payday. Um, card from that game and I do have a lot of like pictures like this from my Instax that I don't really like that camera. I thought it was going to be like an old Polaroid and I guess it is but I just haven't used one in so long so like the the print quality is not that great but I've been working a lot in my garden so I have a lot of garden tags of plants um, that I planted. I bought my first Ray Dunn piece in the last year so I wanted to keep that memory. More plant tags, um, a picture of my husband and I from one of his military functions, 
and I have some punches here that I kind of that's I need to throw away because it's on its last leg I did I put in some of my art um, little doodles that I have in my other journal sometimes I cut them out and put them in my journals First day of school for my kids right here. I have a jury doodle, jury duty excusal um, letter right there. This one I think was a junk journal with me that I did. I think it's called Flipping Out, but it's basically a bunch of flip outs. I created a tag right here with a little tuck spot over here in the corner and a card from I think our realtor and then another flip out spot with um, our little mountain biking excursion through a canyon so I think that junk journal with me is in there this page um, more collaging a compost bin that my husband built for me out of pallets and this little window um, die cut that I made look like I was looking out the window at my daughter riding her bike and I think I did a junk journal with me on this page as well a date night with my husband I created this little um, tag and <laughs> this is a hot mess because I was learning how to use my sewing machine I have some trim right here and my first ticket, my first airline um, flight ever to Hawaii. I kept that tag and thought it would go good with this journal. Um, more flowers here and pictures of some of my succulents. I created another little double tuck spot right here so I could tuck in a photo right here and then another photo right there. Um, lots of plant photos in this journal. So I kept the tiger lily um, bulb pack and then put a picture of the actual tiger lily that I grew. So right here I have one of those little Dollar Tree treat boxes and more plant tags. Um, some more vintage game pieces. A picture of a bird at the zoo, a die cut right there, some pictures of my dog, more pictures of the zoo, and then I have a little piece of um, ephemera from when my husband went to Japan. This side I have a little date night documented with my son. It was like a mother-son date and I have, I kept the scorecard right here for our miniature golf game and then another paint chip right there this page I just collaged a lot of ephemera from the stuff that my husband brought back from Japan so a lot of packaging and the best chocolate in the world that I've ever tasted from this company in Tokyo called Tokyo Chocolate Factory and it's melting chocolate sand it's delicious and a little luau party that I put together out of Dollar Tree stuff um, for my husband's birthday during quarantine we had a luau party in the house more pictures and cards oh right here I have kind of like this secret spot for some more flowers that I put in a piece of packaging from stickers from the Dollar Tree. I like to save those to put my flowers in. And then another card, some little scribbles and drawings for my daughter, more plant tags, um, parking ticket, not a ticket, but like a parking stall um, ticket right there from the beach. I have some tomato, um, some tomatoes that I planted. I kept the little seed packet and just put a picture of my daughter and my husband. Um, the other part of that zoo map, 
I was really proud of this zucchini, you guys. It was eight pounds and I had to put it in my journal because I want to remember it forever. I did not know this thing was growing in my garden and I went out there and I grew an eight pound zucchini. I thought that was crazy. So I was so proud of it. Um, then I just have a card right here from my favorite coffee shop that when we lived in Washington, an Uno card, a, I think this is a Mother's Day card for my kids, more zoo pictures or safari park pictures. So I have like the little receipt from when we bought food for the little lorikeets in there, um, a safari park ticket for when my daughter went on the carousel. In this little popcorn bag, I have this little card, like handmade card from when my husband went to Japan and he went to a, um, I think it's called a 100 yen store. So it's like a Japanese Dollar Tree. And I told him to do a haul and I actually did a um, blind haul. It's on my channel. Um, I'll link it for you guys, but it was hilarious. My my husband went in there, spent like $20, and then I did a blind haul of what he bought me on my channel. But this, I just documented a um, date night that he took me on to the old Balboa Theater in San Diego. He took me to a ballet um, for Valentine's Day. He knows I love ballets, and he knows I love Pink Floyd. And Pink Floyd was in, a Pink Floyd cover band was in um, the last act. It was called Rock and Blues um, California Ballet. So that was really exciting. So I decided to go ahead and um, journal that in this card that he got me from Japan. And I'm not, I don't know if I'm going to put this it'll take too long to put this back on but all right I'll set that aside right here I just have some chicken um, pictures with my when we got our girls we have five chickens this is my daughter's chicken Elsa when she was a baby um, all of my chick three of my chickens I think are laying right now still two to go a picture of a alligator at the zoo and I love the paper that I put it on because it's kind of like alligator skin some coffee dyed paper right there more um, seed packets that I put a picture of pictures of my garden on another piece of ephemera from when my husband went to Japan so I like using the little seed packets as like envelopes. Right here I just have some song lyrics that I wrote down of a song that I really like. And a picture of me. Um, there's not really a lot of pictures of me in my journals because I'm always usually the one behind the camera, but I think my husband took this picture of me um, that day and I decided to throw it in there. Some pictures of my, one of my dogs, a picture of one of my dogs, and then this cute little corgi calendar that I found from Dollar Tree. It's like a piece of chipboard for the month of June, and then I just put like some of my June favorites on here. And, and this is a mommy-daughter date at the zoo right after um, they reopened. And then it's now closed again, but I'm glad we got to go and the hippos were out one of the baby hippos was out with her mom and i just thought it was so cute so i went and bought a little postcard in the gift shop to put right there and i will i think end up go back and journal about that over here more pictures of the zoo i took a piece of clo clothing a clothing tag and kind of made it like a little frame for my daughter some scribbles and pictures from my daughter right here and then this picture is so funny because my daughter made an art gallery and wanted to display it on the window so we had an art gallery Athena's little art gallery on the window for like a week and right here looks like it's kind of coming apart 
I just have some pressed flowers that I covered with a piece of that plastic from the Dollar Tree stickers. Um, my husband has been collecting me flowers for years and I always press them in books and forget about them and then I go back and find them um, sometimes a couple years later in a book so I just throw those in there. Some plant tags and these are I think unfinished pages and um, this is when I was testing out some rub-on transfers from Dollar Tree. I wanted to see how they would look on a in my journals and on a piece of paper and I really like how they it turned out actually this is like some gold foiling I have a little pocket right here with some um, a schedule from when I went through this um, Bible study program a little I know I said I wasn't going to explain every page, but it looks like I'm doing that. Um, and then this is just like a little puzzle that my daughter put together from a Happy Meal or something. And that is the end of the book. Back here in this little pocket that I sewed, I just have some extra pictures of some of my plants. So I'm kind of just storing those in there. But I hope you guys like this video. Let me know down in the comments down below. Give me a thumbs up and of course subscribe if you haven't and you want to see more junk journal videos. I'm getting back into it you guys. I know I took kind of a long break from it. Life has been crazy but I'm so happy to be doing it again. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.